Welcome to the lower leg service video for RockShox forks. It is recommended that this procedure be done after every 50 hours of riding to restore small bump sensitivity, reduce friction, and extend bushing lifespan. In this video, we will be performing service on a pike fork, but the process is nearly the same for all forks. Suspension oil weight and volume varies between forks. Consult the front suspension air, oil, and spring chart for your fork's oil weight and volume. Go to sram.com forward slash service to find the service manual and oil weight for your specific fork before proceeding. View a list of necessary parts, tools, and supplies in the video description below. Place the bicycle in a work stand. Before beginning, record the air pressure level in your air spring, as well as the rebound setting. This information will be used to reset your fork to your desired settings. Remove the wheel from the bicycle according to the wheel manufacturer's instructions. Remove the brake caliper and hose from the fork and place them out of the way. Remove the air valve cap. Depress the Schrader valve and release all air pressure. Verify all air pressure is removed from the fork before proceeding. Failure to do so can result in injury and or damage to the fork. Wear safety glasses. Rotate the bicycle to make the rebound adjuster knob easily accessible. Remove the rebound adjuster knob. If your adjuster knob has a set screw, loosen but do not remove the screw, then remove the knob. Place an oil pan beneath the fork to catch the draining oil. Use a 5mm hex wrench to loosen both bottom bolts 3 to 4 turns. Strike the wrench to dislodge the shaft from the lower leg on each side and remove the bolts. Firmly pull the lower leg downward until fluid begins to drain. Continue pulling downward to remove the lower leg. If the lower leg does not slide off of the upper tube or if fluid does not drain from either side, the press fit of the shaft to the lower leg may still be engaged. Reinstall the bottom bolts two to three turns and repeat the previous step. Do not hit the fork arch with any tool when removing the lower leg, as this could damage the fork. Remove the foam rings. Spray them with isopropyl alcohol and clean them with a lint-free shop towel. Soak the foam rings in the specified suspension oil for your fork. Spray isopropyl alcohol on the inside and outside of the wiper seals and lower leg and clean them with a towel. Use a towel and a long dowel to clean the inside of the lower leg. Install the foam rings under the wiper seals. Spray isopropyl alcohol on the upper tubes and clean them with a towel. Grease the inner surface of the wiper seals. Rotate the bicycle in the work stand so that the lower leg bolt holes are oriented upward. Slide the lower leg onto the upper tube enough to engage the upper bushing with the upper tube. Make sure both wiper seals slide onto the tubes without folding the outer lip of either seal. The inside of the lower leg should not contact the spring or damper shafts. A gap between the shaft ends and the lower leg bolt holes should be visible. 
Angle a syringe fitting into each lower leg bolt hole so the oil will only contact the inside of the lower leg. Inject the appropriate amount of oil for your fork into each lower leg through the lower leg bolt hole. Do not exceed the recommended oil volume per leg, as this can damage the fork. Go to SRAM.com forward slash service to find the most up-to-date oil volume information for your fork. Slide the lower leg assembly along the upper tubes until it stops, and the spring and damper shafts are visible through the lower leg bolt holes and centered. Install the solid bottom bolt into the spring side shaft of the lower leg. Install the hollow bottom bolt into the damper side shaft of the lower leg. Torque both bottom bolts to the specification listed in your fork service manual. Install the rebound adjuster knob. If your rebound adjuster knob has a set screw, press inward on the knob as you tighten the screw. Refer to your pre-service recorded rebound setting to adjust the rebound. Refer to your pre-service recorded setting to pressurize your air spring or consult the air chart on the fork's lower leg. Install the air valve cap. Spray isopropyl alcohol on the entire fork and clean it with a towel. Reinstall the brake caliper and hose. Then the wheel according to the manufacturer's instructions. This concludes the 50-hour service procedure for RockShox Forks.